Hello and welcome back everybody to another video. This video is going to be about the different types of wood in the game. There are a lot of things you can do with wood. Unfortunately, you can't just go for one type of wood and then create all furnishing with it. For example, um, for some furnishing you will need birch wood, while for others, you will need pine wood. And in this video, I'm going to be showing the best places or the places where I found it the easiest to farm the different types of wood. So without any further ado, let's start with Mondstadt. So let's start with birch wood. Um, the place where I always farmed birch wood was close to the Statue of the Seven in Windwale Highland. It, the place looks like this and the birch wood tree looks like this. So it's kind of white with uh, black points or stripes on it. And it will always have like greenish, yellowish, or orange leaves. So all of these trees you see around here are all birch wood. Jiwa wood. Um, so this type of wood is a little bit more specific, I would say, or like harder to get. The special thing about this wood is that it's only obtainable through trees that bear fruits. So you can basically get it from all the regions, as long as the tree, no matter how it looks like, as long as it has fruits, it will give you jiwa wood. And the place where I always farmed it, or where, where it was the easiest for me to farm, was in Galesong Hill. And there, close to Deldapa Gorge, the first tree that's gonna give you the jiwa wood is this tree. Um, but there are all sorts of jiwa wood trees around here. So there's another one there, there's another one up there, close to the camp, and there's another one if you go straight in that direction. The place that got stuck with me farming firwood was actually in Starfell Valley. Um, it's between Starfell Lake and Star Snatch Cliff, and you want to teleport to the Midsummer Courtyard, and then kind of just fly to this hill here. So all of these trees that we see around here with the dark green leaves, which look a little bit spiky, all of these are fir wood, so you literally can farm as much fir wood here as your heart desires. There's also a little bit of birch wood if you need that, or if you want to farm both of them together here. This is also a very good location. Fragrant setter wood. The best place I found, or where there's the most in the the easiest way to obtain it is actually close to the place where we just farmed fir wood. So you basically want to go the same way, or you could also teleport to the Statue of the Seven in Starfell Lake. But I kind of just started farming fragrant cedar wood after I got the fir wood here. Um, you basically just want to do jump down. The All of this is going to be fragrant cedar wood, but you could definitely also teleport to that statue of the seven there. And there's also going to be more birch wood around there. If you want to farm it there, feel free to do so. But this is the place where I farmed fragrant cedar wood. There's going to be another good place to farm it, right in Springfield Valley. You teleport to this waypoint and then you just go to this hill. I can show that too. There, all of these trees will also be fragrant cedar wood. If you don't need that much, this is definitely a well recommended place too. The best location to farm pine wood is definitely in Dragon's Pine. There's pine wood everywhere. And the location I usually went for is close to this teleporter wine point. So all of these trees will be pine wood. Um, there's pine wood up there, there's pine wood up here. You can go this way to get even more pine wood. Like literally all of it is pine wood, except for these. These are obviously um, birch wood. But these trees will all give you pine wood. But there's another good place for pine wood in Liwe, in Wuwang Hill. You want to teleport to the domain. Don't teleport to this waypoint. It's going to lead you to a place far away. And then you're going to be in this forest. This forest is only going to give you pine wood as well. Okay, so the place where I always farm bamboo at was in northern Bishu Plain. It's close to this teleport waypoint, which is in Lower King's Village. Um, don't get confused, when you spawn here, there will usually be a boar running into you. You can kill it for two raw meat, if you really want to. I mostly just let it hit me for some reason. Um, there is gonna be so much bamboo here, so like this is another very, very good place to farm bamboo. I definitely recommend it. 
So the next type of tree is gonna be Sandberry Wood. Sandberry Wood is the native tree to Leeware, so um, you can find it everywhere in Leeware. Um, it's actually very easy to find, but the best place I found to farm it is in Tianku Valley. Please excuse my pronunciation. And it's literally, you just spawn here at this waypoint and there's gonna be Sandberry Wood all he around here. Uh, there's a little bit of Sandberry Wood there and there. There's more here, so it's definitely once again a very good place, but you might need to walk a little bit further, but it's still gonna be all around and still gonna be very much worth your time to farm it here, since there's gonna be plenty of it for just walking a few meters. Starting with Aralia, you wanna go to Narukami Island. I found out that Aralia, Aralia spawns everywhere in Inazuma as well, but the easiest and best way to farm it is in Narukami Island, and there's literally a forest called Chinyu Forest. You want to teleport there and just have a look for yourself. All of these trees, every single one of them is Aralia, so you can definitely farm it here. It's not only a good place to farm Aralia, but also very pretty. For the maple tree, we're actually gonna stay in Narukami Island, so we're also gonna be spawning here. You wanna go to the Statue of the Seven, and then just go to the left, I guess. The only maple trees, or the only trees that will give you maple wood, are gonna be these very red orangey trees. And yeah, they're gonna be all around the island, so around all Rito, even down here. Otogi wood. So the best place I found to farm Otogi wood is in Kanazuka. You can definitely find Otogi wood everywhere around in Inazuma as well. It spawns a lot and everywhere. But the best place I found was definitely still in Kanazuka and it's close to Tata... Wait? Tatarasuna. You want to teleport to this waypoint and then kind of just fly down a while. While this area is actually not that close to the waypoint, there's so much and so plenty here that it actually kind of makes it worth again to farm here. So there's um, more Jiwa wood here, you can definitely take that with you as well. But this is all gonna be Otogi and then you can either go further down on this little um, cliff, there's gonna be more there, but there's also gonna be more down here. Okay, so the last wood type and the last tree on this list and in Inazuma is gonna be the Yumemiro tree. So the special thing about the Yumemiro tree is that it has pink leaves. You can find it everywhere in Inazuma city, in the Grand Narukami Shrine and in Amakane Island. I think the best place to farm it is actually Amakane Island, but the waypoint is very far away, so I just stood in Inazuma city and farmed it there. So, all of these pink trees will be Yumemiro wood, and I just like the view, it looks very pretty. Don't get fooled though, um, the weird thing is these slightly violet trees, with the violet leaves, these are not Yumemiro, and these will be Otogi, so you only want to go for the pink trees. With Yumemiro being done, we covered every single type of wood, so this is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Feel free to let me know in the comments below if you found another place to farm a specific type of wood or if you found a place that was better or if there's like an easier access to that place. Um, once again, thank you everybody so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye!